Hi, all you healthy humans. Welcome to New Leaf Table TV. I am your host, Chef E, and today we're gonna to be cooking chicken with charred tomatoes and mozzarella. A well-balanced, low-carb dish that's packed with flavor, and I know you're gonna love it. We have so many great ingredients. Fresh mozzarella, red onions, cherry tomatoes, fresh basil and spinach, four chicken breasts, and so many herbs and spices. We add so much health to our dish by including lots of herbs and spices. So the very first thing you're gonna wanna do is preheat your oven to 425 degrees. Next, we're gonna coat our baking dish with a cooking oil. I like to use a saturated oil because it's less likely to go rancid at high temperatures, but if you have olive oil or avocado oil laying around the house and would prefer to use that, it'll work just fine. So we're just gonna add it to the pan to coat the pan before we put the chicken in. Next, we're gonna take our four chicken breasts. I'm gonna add a step here and we're gonna pound out our chicken. All this does is tenderize our meats, it breaks up the fibers in the chicken and allows it to cook quicker in the oven. So I'm just gonna take a gallon size plastic bag, put my chicken in our bag. And if you don't have a meat mallet, like this one, you can literally use anything you have lying around the kitchen. You can use the bottom of a pan, the bottom of a bowl, a can from the pantry. You can even use the palm of your hands. You're just going to get after it. Give it a couple of good bangs. So the goal is not to pulverize your chicken. It's just to get it more even as well as break it up a bit. So it doesn't even have to be flat. Just Make sure and hit the thicker parts. It's also kind of fun. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna take our chicken and put it in our greased baking pan. Next, we're gonna generously season our chicken breast. So I'm gonna do some fresh ground pepper. some fresh sea salt. This is gonna balance out the electrolytes of the dish. We'll do smoked paprika. We'll do some fresh basil. This is really good for digestion, as well as it adds lots of good flavor. Oregano, it's really good at fighting diseases and helping with cellular damage. And then, of course, some garlic powder. And then we'll just pop this in the oven. We'll leave this in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes or until the internal temperature reaches 165 degrees. Next up, while our chicken is baking, we're gonna make our topping. So the best way to keep your chicken nice and tender is to cover it in juices. So we have cherry tomatoes that I'm gonna cut in half. So our tomatoes are all chopped. We're just gonna add them to a large mixing bowl and then we'll chop our basil. So I have about five leaves of fresh basil and I'm just gonna mix them together and fold them in half. It makes them super easy to chop. And give them a rough chop, careful of your fingers, and then a sideways chop. You could even tear it if you want to. Make it easy on yourself. Add that to the bowl, and then we'll add our pre-chopped red onions, as well as some olive oil, and balsamic vinegar, and some salt and pepper. The balsamic vinegar is going to reduce when we put it on the chicken and make it so yummy. 
Now just mix it all together. Alrighty, lastly, the chicken is about done. So we'll pop it out of the oven and then I'll show you what to do next. Alrighty, our chicken looks perfect. So we'll add mozzarella cheese to the top. And then my special little hack is we're gonna go ahead and put fresh cut spinach right on top. This saves you from having to add a side dish. You just add it to your main dish. Plus it's spinach, so it's packed with vital nutrients especially magnesium, which is something that most of us are deficient in. And then just pop your tomato mixture on top. Now we'll put this back in the oven for five to eight minutes until the cheese is golden brown and it's ready to eat. And finally, our cheese is nice and melted and our tomatoes are nice and charred and they'll add so much tasty to this dish. I'm gonna top ours with a little crushed red pepper. We like spice in our house. If you don't, feel free to leave it off. And also a little balsamic glaze reduction. It just adds a tiny bit of sweetness to the top. Just a little sprinkle. Alrighty, let's get a taste. Oh my gosh, so delicious. The cheese and the char from the tomatoes, so good. Well, that's all for now. Thanks so much for watching New Leaf Table TV. Until we dine again, farewell, healthy humans. To subscribe to New Leaf Table's meal plan service with weekly meals and easy delivery through your existing Amazon Fresh membership, visit our website at newleaftable.com. And also, please hit the subscribe button to our YouTube channel. I have melted coconut oil because I prefer to use a saturated, I'm gonna redo that whole thing. That was just not good. <laughs> I have better things to say. <laughs> okay. Next, we're gonna gener, blah, 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 blah. Let me rearrange myself. Alrighty, Friday. Mmm. <laughs> oh my gosh, so delicious. The cheese and the char from the tomatoes, so good. What else do I do? <laughs>